Hi, I'm Captain Monty Graham with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. This week, uh, them sheephead are still all around the jetties right now. Um, we've been getting them on both sides. First thing in the morning, I've been working this tip up here in front, live shrimp. We've been catching speckled trout early in the morning, late in the evening. Uh, just freelining shrimp, or you can use a popping cork. But throw right up on them rocks, up on the points, and you're sure to find a uh, sheephead through here. You'll pick up some redfish, uh, but the speckled trout are early in the morning, late part of the evening. Also, the redfish have been running all through here. So we've been using cut manhaden uh, or cut mullet. has been working real well all along on both sides of these jetties from Port Aransas on the way out. So all around here has been Good fish, still holding um, good fish all around Port Aransas. Um, if it's too rough out there, come back into Fina Docks. Fina Docks and out in front, been holding sheephead, been holding slot reds. Uh, there's still a few bull reds hanging around here. Uh, we've been catching black drum. So there's still a lot of good fish all around Port Aransas. Uh, if you come down, and especially with that water the way it has been, uh, one day it's up, one day it's down, but if you can catch it when it's down, we've been working these guts going into the back of Lighthouse Lakes. Uh, we've been catching redfish all through here uh, using live shrimp or cut mullet or cut manhaden. Uh, South Bay is still holding good fish. We've been catching black drum back here in the back of this creek. Um, there's quite a few boats that get in there, so just be courteous. Uh, once you drop into the gut, then get on your trolling motor. Try to stay off that big motor. That just that just scares the fish. If you got a deep V-hole boat, stay out here in the deeper part. Work these edges all around grassy right here. There've been a good good number of um, schools of red on this on this grass line right out here, and we've been catching mixed in with um, black drum. So early in the morning, late part of the evening, uh, check your tides. Make sure you got some tidal flow. But all this area's been holding good fish. If you don't get them there, you can come back underneath the bridge and come into Sailboat Channel, get your trolling motor down, and look for that dirty water. That dirty water is going to be black drum. Um, dead shrimp has been working real well. Just use a lead head and work that edge right here on this point. Uh, coming into this main channel here, uh, been good numbers of black drum and numbers of redfish through here. Mixed in with a few trout. Uh, live shrimp I've been using all back through here. Uh, seems to be working the best. Uh, if you come back out and come back towards Port Aransas down this channel back into Summer Hole. Uh, Summer Hole's been holding black drum, been holding redfish. Uh, all this edge. Like I said, just work it real slow. Um, the bite has been a little finicky this week just because of the fronts and the wind uh, direction, but still a lot of good fish all in this area. Those of you just looking for the red fish and, and the speckled trout, uh, over here by Sunray, coming into George Clark's Hole. Uh, been doing real well back behind these islands. Uh, live mullet has been the ticket up around these islands, it seems like, this week. So if you get you some live mullet, Work these potholes, work all this edge around these islands. You're gonna you're gonna find them redfish. There's been a lot of redfish through here. Uh, those of you that like using artificials, um, top water plug right now, bone white, uh, bone white with red, has been working. Uh, it's been working on the redfish and the trout. So you can work all these islands and these edges and these back little coves. Uh, find the bait. You're gonna find the fish. If you can't find the bait, then put out your drift sock. Get on a good drift. Um, top waters, like I say, have been working. Um, popping corks with your favorite plastics. Uh, been catching uh, good numbers of trout. Uh, been catching a lot of small reds. But if you stay at it long enough, you're going to wind up getting a box full of redfish. So all these areas around these islands, around the ICW, have really been holding good fish. Been some black drum back in here. Uh, just like I said, look for that dirty water. Uh, red fish, find the bait. You're going to find the fish. You can come into Morris Cummins Cut and come down through the funnel. Uh, all these areas back by, around these uh, islands here, around these rock piles, 
We've been holding good redfish through here. Been using live mullet or using live shrimp under a popping cork. Uh, the Klondikes, right now, uh, there have been black drum on the Klondikes on this reef through here. Uh, seems like a lot of these redfish and black drum, they're laying on these oyster reefs. So if you can work these oyster reefs, you're going to find the fish. Um, back here at uh, L Reef, Right back behind Hog Island, there's a good little oyster reef through here. This has been holding good redfish uh, right on top of the reef. If you get out a little deeper, uh, there's been speckled trout through here. Best thing to do for those is get on a good little drift and work this deeper water right through here uh, with your favorite plastic and popping cork, and you'll find them trout. There's been some good ones out there. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Monty Graham.